Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with my range report of the Ruger Max 9 with Crimson Trace 1550 Red Dot. Um, I am not a Red Dot shooter and uh, I've just never been a big fan of it. And when I shot this micro compact well, being the first one that I've ever shot well before, I was like, well, let's get out of the comfort zone. Let's go ahead and let's put a red dot on it and see how I do. Uh, now, me and the uh, baby bucket went out, a uh, big baby bucket went out today, and uh, we went ahead and shot this big bad boy, and it was a pleasure to shoot. Um, we went ahead and I took my first five shots um, and remember I had used a laser bore sight to zero this gun and these are the first five shots a little low a little left um, and you know that that's that's a good group you know holding it pretty tight that's gonna be about a two inch group just a little bit off uh, then I went and started to do some practice shots now <clears throat> After I shot this group right here, I could see that maybe I was a little bit off on my uh, laser bore sight and adjusted it a little bit, and there I go. Get a nice tight group uh, right in the head, right where I was aiming. Had a couple flyers, obviously, and then, you know, when I really started getting it dialed in, I was hitting a point of aim. So very, very happy with that. Um, and then I went ahead and... Um, I, I, I took my last five shots. That is four holes right there. Boom, 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 boom. And then I had that little flyer down there. And that's still, you know, that's within a six inch circle at seven yards. There's nothing uh, to be ashamed about that. Um, hitting really accurate with it. This uh, Crimson Trace is a, uh, you know, it's not the most expensive red dot that you can purchase. It fits on here nice and uh, well. It was easy to install. It does co-witness. Uh, so you could have, um, you know, if, if something happens to this red dot, you go ahead and um, use the sights just like normal. Um, it's kind of an old uh, old timer's uh, dream if you're going to start to get in the red dot. It's not going to be super, super expensive. And like I said, it shot uh, great, shot flawlessly. They do recommend that uh, when you're done shooting it, since it automatically activates, to go ahead and put the cap on it. You can buy holsters for this gun that will... Um, that will uh, allow you to carry this uh, concealed just like this. Uh, I have not, I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to her to the point to see if uh, I, I would like to carry with a red dot. It is a little bit wider even without the cap on it than the gun, so um, that might rub you just a little bit, but it's nothing that you couldn't get used to, I'm sure. Uh, anybody thinking about, uh, you know, getting into red dots, I think uh, the Ruger Max 9 uh, with the Crimson Trace uh, would be a wonderful red dot to um, give, a, give a shot to. Um, yeah, nothing but positive things to say about this particular firearm. Uh, if you like what I had to say today, go ahead and hit that like button. you have any comments about anything of, of what you've experienced with this gun, Crimson Trace, as a, as a general rule, uh, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. If you know anybody that's thinking about a certain up conceal and carry and want something nice and small, uh, go ahead and share this video with them. And as always, you stay classy, YouTube. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole ass one thing. I learned a lesson, never half-ass two things, whole-ass one thing.